Hey guys, I want to talk to you about the service berry tree, also known as the June berry tree, uh, because its fruit doesn't get ripe and edible until around June. But the best time to look for this tree is before the most of the trees get their leaves on the trees, uh, because this tree will, will blossom white uh, flowers, uh, blossoms, white blossoms on the tree. And throughout the hillside, you'll be able to pick this tree out really easy. But when they lose their blossoms and they begin to get their leaves and they start blending in with all the other green trees around, they can look just like maybe a birch or a cherry tree in their leaves. Uh, so that makes it very difficult to find and pick out these trees. So you want to start early uh, wherever you are. I'm in west central Pennsylvania. So usually around, you know, uh, the middle of April is about a good time, uh, but if you're further south, it may be earlier. If you're further north, it may be later. Uh, but the key characteristic is looking for those white blossoms on the hillside and then marking those trees out for further use. So let's get right into it. You can see a lot of these trees growing right along the road. And here's a little tiny one. It's not very big. Um, and we can look very closely at some of the flowers here. They're starting to come off because we're, I mean, they, they don't last very long. So there we can see the flowers, how they come in clusters. You can see the one by itself. They are so easy, easy to pick out because you can see them uh, when, when like the elm tree and the tulip tree start to turn green. Uh, you're going to see little white trees all over the place and they're most likely going to be Juneberry. So I'm looking over this hillside, just looking to see if there's anything that catches my eye, any tulip or elm trees, because they would be green, but nothing is green. So it's all like oak and maple, but I spotted something way down there. And look, there's a Juneberry or service berry tree. And you can see it's not very big and the blossoms are clear at the top of the tree. And that tree is not as tall as all the other trees, but just enough where you can get some sunlight. But if you were to walk up to that tree, you'd never be able to get the berries off of it when, the, when uh, they come ripe. So that's one thing to always keep in mind when you're looking for Juneberry. They're not gonna be um, real, real plentiful, but you'll see them scattered like this on hillsides and maybe along the road or on the edges of fields. Now this is typical. Um, it grows uh, with a lot of other trees around, hardwoods, hillsides, where their sun, um, you know, that you can see them sometimes out on the uh, edge of the field or they can be deep in the woods. But one thing that they like to do is grow really tall, out of reach for you to ever pick any of the berries. So there we can see some of those. Now, fortunately, <laughs> this is a big tree. This is a big tree that fell down. And I'm excited <laughs> for this tree to make it into June because these trees are so hard to find um, if they are low or small where you can reach the fruit of the tree in June. Usually several things happen. Either somebody else picks them or most likely the birds and the other animals pick them clean or there's not enough of them to go around um, and so the numbers, they're, they're, they're few and far between. When you get into bigger trees that get really up high where the animals can't get them as easy, uh, they seem to be, you know, and they get a lot more sun up a little bit towards the canopy, you'll see a lot more blossoms, which means a lot more fruit. Well, this is kind of uh, crazy because this tree just fell over, but it's still alive. So it must be still connected at the root. And um, here we can see some of the leaves coming off. So there we see some of the small leaves. Uh, they look a little brownish uh, on the edges, but they're green in the center. And there's those distinct white flowers, blossoms that are all over this tree. And when we look at the bark, it's very, very, very light gray, somewhat smooth. We'll go in the back of this tree and take a look at it. So here we see the tree is actually uprooted um, a little bit, um, but it looks like it's gonna stay healthy enough to make it through at least this year. But here we see um, some, some moss on this side, but when we come up, <clears throat> here's one side. 
And when we look at it, this would almost look like a young red oak sort of when the bark is. And then when it gets older, it sort of comes back into um, just crackling up and flaking off. Almost looks like a young cherry on this side. We can kind of walk up this tree a little bit further. And here you can see what the bark looks like about halfway up the tree. So it's nice and smooth. As it gets older, it starts breaking apart gets a little uh, ridges on it. Now the interesting thing is there isn't another one of these trees anywhere close to where I'm standing and there's absolutely no other tree other than maybe an apple tree, a tulip, or an elm tree that is green. So this is one thing it's just this real real white now this kind of looks a little bit uh, brown with, and green because the leaves start coming off but um, usually you want to start looking for this tree like I said as soon um, as it starts getting warm as soon as uh, you start getting into the the 50 and 60 degree days um, you want to start looking for these blossoms starting to pop out all right so it's been exactly one week and look at how quickly the blossoms have all fell off and the leaves are coming more prominent on the tree um, so you really do only have like a short two week window uh, when these begin to flower and then fall off and again we check this check these blossoms and look and really identify those blossoms compared to other blossoms that are on trees compared to like an apple tree or anything else but yep there we go now we just wait for the fruit all right, well, it's the 1st of June, and we're back here at the service berry tree, or the June berry tree. And we see that because this tree has fallen over, um, it's gonna be very easy for the deer to eat. And look at how they have nipped off all of the leaves down here. There's hardly any berries. The berries that are left um, right here, we can see that they are not ripe yet but you can see how they hang down you can see here how they're coming off the branch uh, that's what they look like they have these uh, long stems and this one here is not ripe yet you can see they'll be green and then they will turn a dark purple uh, maroon color when they are ripe but they do not last long because once they are ripe usually uh, the animals the birds will land in the trees and just pick these things off like crazy but let's see if we can find a ripe one because we know some of them are already ripe it is the year of the cicada but i don't know if the cicadas actually eat these but here we have one uh ready to eat very sweet Can't really explain the flavor. Uh, has a familiar flavor, but uh, uh, they are actually very, very good. Um, it just that trying to find them before the birds and the deer and every other animal that loves to eat these gets to them, except for the uh, locusts. I don't think they eat them, but um, yeah. I mean, so there's a tree that you want to keep a lookout for, uh, and also if you're like a bird watcher or you want to plant trees for habitat uh turkeys and grouse and squirrels and other animals uh look into serviceberry or the juneberry tree uh, and plant those out uh very helpful for wildlife uh right next to the road and you can see how really nice shaped very good color but they will get very 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 dark here we can notice what the leaves look like I took this twig off here you can see one that's still starting to grow here you can see they grow they're, they're, they can be in different sizes this one here is dark red uh, but like I said they keep getting darker and this is what you want to look for again before you put anything into your mouth to taste these uh, make sure you have identified the tree properly but usually when you try these, you can see this fruit is getting close to being ripe because it come off there very easily. And uh, 
that's what you want to look for. We'll just try one of these. Not bad. There's another one right here. They get more sugar comes out the darker they get, but they're still pretty good when they're uh, you know a bright red color. So keep an eye out for the service berry tree or the June berry tree. Uh, I know it's very difficult to look at this tree and spot these because they don't just stick out. They look like a lot of other trees, like birch trees and cherry trees. But it's easier early in the season. A long time ago, it felt like I waited a long time just for a few of those little uh, um, berries to come out. But just try it sometime. It's something to keep in mind when you start seeing those leaves come out the first the spring of the year. Uh, them white flowers on the trees, mark them so you know be, to be able to find these trees a lot easier come summertime.